If you have a Microsoft 365 business subscription with the standard or basic licenses, you probably know that your default mailbox size limit is 50 gigabytes. However, there are ways to increase this limit, especially if you need more storage for specific users. My name is Carlos, and in today's video, I will explain the options to increase the storage of your mailbox in Microsoft 365. Before reviewing these options, it is a good idea to know where and how to check the current usage. Let's have a look if you have the admin access to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. If you have the admin role, you will be able to check the usage for all your users within your Microsoft 365 subscription. To access the admin panel, you will click on the admin icon. If you don't see it here, you can click on the upper left corner on the nine little dots and then click on explore all your apps. You can search for admin and you will find it. Within the admin panel on the left, you will see users, then active users, and you can select the users you want to check the usage. For example, this one, and then you click on the mail tab. We can read here mailbox storage. On the right, we can read 0.24%. It means 121 megabytes. A different alternative where you can see the usage for all your users at once. On the left, you can click on show all, then click on report. Within report, you can click on usage, and then you can click on exchange. On the right, you will see mailbox usage. If you scroll down, you will see all the users. In case you don't see the description of every user, you can fix this by adjusting your settings. You can click on the left to expand the menu, and then you click on settings. Then organization settings. Within the service tab, you scroll down and click on reports. You need to unselect this option. Display concealed user group and site names in all reports. Then you save it, close here, and we can go back to report. Under usage, exchange again, mailbox usage. Scroll down, and now we can see the actual username. If you don't have access to the admin panel and you want to know your own usage, you can do this. Let's go back to our Microsoft account. On the left, we can see the Outlook icon here, Outlook. On the upper right corner, we click on the little wheel under settings. Then we click on general and then on storage right here. And we can read the usage in our own account. In this case, 0.12 gigabyte. Now, once you have determined you need more storage for your mailboxes, let's have a look to the options. There are two main alternatives to increase the 50 gigabyte mailbox in Microsoft 365. You can assign an Exchange Online Plan 2 license to the user. This will increase the mailbox storage limit from 50 gigabyte to 100 gigabyte. This is the most straightforward option but it will also increase the cost of your user subscription. This new license will need to be added on top of the existing license. It does not replace the existing basic or standard license. Another alternative in terms of licenses is to replace the current license with the Microsoft 365 E3 or E5. In this case, you are removing the existing basic or standard license and assigning a new license, E3 or E5. By the way, you can reassign the removed license to a different user. In either case, you can access your Microsoft 365 Admin Center and purchase the necessary license, as I will show you here. Within the Admin panel, you can click on Marketplace. Then on the right, you can search, for example, for Exchange Online and hit enter and you can scroll down and you will find exchange online plan 2. Once you click on details you will be able to purchase the license that you need. If you need to purchase Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 we search for E3 and we will find them here Microsoft 365 E3. It will be the same case for E5. The second option is to enable exchange online archiving. This will allow the user to archive all their emails to a separate mailbox. This is a good option if the users need more storage space, but it can be more complex to manage than simply increasing the mailbox size. Here is a video 
that will tell you how to enable Archive Online for specific users within the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. When you enable Online Archive, a default policy applies. All the emails two years old or older are automatically moved to the Archive mailbox. The Archive mailbox can be easily accessed within the Outlook desktop and also within the Outlook Online. Online archiving provides additional 50 GB of storage, so the final result is a total of 100 GB. 50 GB in the regular mailbox plus 50 in the Archive mailbox. This alternative does not have any additional cost of your Microsoft 365 subscription. There are other options when you are running out of space in your mailbox, like deleting old or unnecessary emails. This may sound easy, however, it could be time consuming. You can also move emails to an offline archive folder. This can also be time consuming. And save or move attachment to OneDrive and SharePoint. I am personally not a fan of these last options. Now, I'd like to hear from you. Do you have any comments or questions? Put it here down below so all can benefit from them. If you like this video or find it useful, feel free to subscribe. Maybe consider supporting my channel by using the super thanks button. Thank you for watching and see you next time.